Before the video starts, you have seven days to smash that subscribe button or else I will smash your mom. Hello there, my fellow Gorilla Tag enthusiasts. In this video, we are going to talk about the common mistakes people make when creating Gorilla Tag fan-made maps for Gorilla Tag. And who better learn that from Ambrose? So sit back, grab a banana, and let's dive into the world of Gorilla Tag map making. Uh, Chad GPT made that for me. I didn't. Don't worry about it. I didn't write that myself. Here's the entire reason why I made the video. And it's not because I saw one bad video. No, it's because I've seen many. Like, a lot. Listen, the breaking point was when I was scrolling on YouTube, and eventually I came across this one video. Making Grill Tag Fan Game Part 1. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, he shows off Spawn. Ooh la la! About to become the next Mona Lisa. Or Banana Tag, give or take. Is all I can say when I see... Uh, well, I don't know what I see, but I really hope I go blind after this. Nice. Now, my invitation that I gave to my 2,820 subscribers must have gone lost in the mail somehow for you guys, but, you know, that, that's alright. Good thing I still have this, or I couldn't remember it. Alright, now let Papa show you how it's done. Now, even before creating your Unity project, you want to create a Unity project for your map. Now, I'm gonna call mine, you're wrong, because it's just the facts, buddy. After installing the XR plugin management, yada yada, Gorilla Locomotion, here we are, waiting for Pro Builder to install. This feels familiar. <laughs> First of all, you're gonna need Pro Builder for this to even work, so install that all right so first of all go to tools pro builder and then pro builder window it should open up this stupid thing and just drag and drop it wherever you want inside the pro builder window press new shape make it a plane and drag it to about the size that you want your map to be Th so this is just going to be the, like the grass floor or whatever that you have and next thing you want to do press subdivide object a healthy amount of times so yeah and if you go too many, press Ctrl Z to undo. After doing that, go to Vertex Selection, it's the second uh, thing at the very top, and you wanna click on the little dots and bring them in, you know? Make it like a circle. This is gonna be like the grass, like I said, but this is also where the walls are gonna be built off of and stuff, so it's kinda important how you get it to your liking. And when you mess up, make sure you press Ctrl Z to undo. Eventually, after wasting your time long enough, go to the third menu, which, uh, it's like a line thing, I don't know what's called, but you want to click on that, and then go over and select all the outer edges. And then press extrude edges. And then move it up to your desired height, I don't, that's, that's not up to me, it, it's up to you! Alright, that's pretty good for me, so I'm gonna press extrude edges again, and then we're gonna shrink it down a little bit, and move it over, because, uh... Well, it's a little bit lopsided, so let's fix that, and... Yeah, move it up, okay. pop it out because we want people that escape the map to be rewarded to be able to actually walk around you know because we're just generous like that and move it over now i can add in my gorilla rig and hopefully you've already added in yours but you know mustard now I want to give you a little heads up, uh, the next video is going to be an actual banana tag video, and if you are in the discord, you would already know that the what the next video is going to be about, so, just a little heads up. Baba boy. Also, you're not in the discord, well, why are you not in the discord, join the discord now, really? You'll get notified as soon as it releases to App Lab. Like, come on, you're you're being stupid not joining. Come on, man. All right, let's play test it. It is terrible. 
Well, yeah, because there's no textures, there's no trees, there's no nothing. Which, I'm not gonna teach you how to get the trees, but like... Come on, man. And now it's time for you to choose your path. Either A, make your own textures, or B, steal someone else's. Which, I'm gonna steal someone else's, because, you know... I'm not gonna spend hours making textures, I don't know. So, the one that I use is in the description down below. There's two versions, it'll take you to their main website. And, yeah, but if you wanna make your own, be my guest. As you may notice, your walls are a little bit big, so if you need to, you can subdivide them, and then go into the third menu, and then push them in and out, you know, whatever. Which, by the way, uh, you saw me make the entire, like, that little block of the wall make it orange. Yeah, like, right here. Yeah, you can make that happen by the fourth menu, which is selecting faces. So, yeah. Edit however you like. It's your map. After letting it sit for a few minutes, you want to go over, go to, uh, the fourth menu, select all the faces on the ground and stuff, and press detach faces. Give it a little name, and then do that for the walls, the upper walls, if you have those, and then the, the upper grass area, if you have that. Now, I added textures while doing it, but you could have added textures after, before, actually, don't do it before, because everything's just going to be one texture, and you don't want that, like, at all, because that's cringe. We are already at a point where App Lab would be like, hey, yeah, this is pretty cool, we'll accept this. If Banana Tech had this map, absolutely not. Denied. Nine times. Now, out here, let's create a second smaller map that's gonna... Well, not really a map, it's gonna be the spawn area. Uh, make sure it's much smaller. It, it should just be able to hold a computer if you want, if you need that. Uh, I don't, I don't really think there's anything else that you need, it's just like a small area, you know? Aside from that, basically the exact same thing. Except for when you're trying to extrude. For the ceiling, you're gonna wanna extrude it, you know, we're at a pretty good height now. Extrude it, shrink it down now, and then move it off to the side. This is what I call the, the, knot and twist. I, I don't know, I just came up with that. Now, there's a little bit of a shadow, which, you know, most people don't care about, but it was annoying me for a second, so I moved it. Uh, yeah. So, detach all the faces, yada yada, you already know, and this is what it looks like in the end. 3, 2, 1. Yup, it looks like you're stuck in a rusty tuna can, I know. Okay, but let's make it so you can actually go into the forest and out of the forest, so let's, first of all, place it over there and then cut a hole open over here where it's gonna be by using the button that says delete face uh, i don't know it's red yada yada and let's do that on the other side now yay it's like 3 a.m now and booyah there we are now here's something that's considered a pro gamer move. Uh, go over, add an object with pro builder, go, go over pipe, it's the right top one, and then set the side count to relatively, like, I'd say around 12 to 9 works. So, yeah, that's cool, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. I'm super tired. So basically, the point of making them pipe is so that we can connect two rooms together. Make them relatively thick, unlike me, because I actually made it not thick enough. So, yeah, that looks pretty thin. But we're gonna throw it there anyways, and then we're gonna go over with the uh, tool number three and fix the sides. And here we are, fixing the sides with the edge selection. The edge, the whatever. It's called the edge selection, and I've been calling it tool number three this entire time, but it's not. Don't be stupid. Stupid. By the way, I'm not saying that this is a better way to make your maps than in Blender. I'm just saying it's a little bit easier than making your maps in Blender. 
So, y you feel me, right? Okay. Anyways, we gotta go with the shadows. So, let's go over, create a plane, and we're gonna make it as big as possible, because we're gonna need to cast some shadows. Because from one side, a plane is not visible, which, that's pretty smart. So it can cast shadows, it's really nice. So we're gonna do that, and it's gonna be good. Let's just scale it up and screw with it. Okay, this is actually looking pretty fire, not gonna lie. Thank God I just restrained myself from saying what I was about to say, because, uh... Ooh, I'm a little bit passionate about them shadows, you feel me? Well, most people haven't felt me. Just like the sun hasn't touched my skin in three years. And here we are, the absolutely magnificent shadows. Looking pretty nice, not gonna lie. Now, the ones up there you probably won't be able to see, so... We're good on that one. And then after adding a little stick ladder thing so that you can get up into the spawn room, or... I don't know, get down. It's currently just spawn on the ground, which... I don't know why that would make any sense. It works! <gasps> no! After entirely reconstructing the hole, just like the doctors had to after your mom sat on my face, it was finished. At last.